Thanks for tuning in today, guys. We're going to be doing a skin fade. And my finger is better now, so I'm back able to do tutorials. And we're going to start this video out by making our bald guideline. And then we're going to follow up under that with the shaver. And I'm not going directly up to that line. I'm going just a little bit under it. So we're just going to walk through the steps of this fade and we're going to start out with the lever fully open and we're going to make a guideline about an inch high. Now with his hair texture, his hair is very dense and coarse. So when it fades, you'll see some dark spots, but I'm going to show you guys how to walk, how to walk through it and blend it out. So don't be intimidated. But right here, we're just walking through the steps of blending out that bottom guideline and we're slowly opening the lever. And notice how I'm using the corner of the blade whenever I get near that C cup area. That's because I still want to leave that area dark. Now we have on the one guard and we're going to make, we're going to make another guideline about an inch high. So the steps with the one guard, it's open, closed, and then halfway. So you're going to make your guideline with the lever fully open. Then you're going to come under it with the lever fully closed. And then you're going to blend in between it with the lever halfway. So we did open, we just did close, and now you see the lever is halfway. Now we have on the half guard or the 1 16th guard. And the steps with this guard are halfway and then close. So you're coming under that number one guard closed with the lever halfway and then you're going to close it. And for those of you that may think, oh, it's not really fading, it's not really blending yet, but wait in just, just a second and you'll see it start to come together. Right now what we're doing, we're blending the bottom of the fade and then we're going to blend the top and then connect them in the middle. So now we're about to start blending the top of the fade. So now we have on the number two guard with the lever fully open. And we're going to go up to the Parada Ridge, but not past it because you don't want to make the fade too high. So now I just took the two guard and closed the lever just to get a little bit closer. Okay, next I take the one and a half guard and go under that number two guard. And as you can see, the hair is starting to blend now. And then now I close the lever. At this point in the fade, we're, we're beginning to get ready to connect the top with the bottom. And this is where you'll really see the density of the hair come into effect. So I know you see the hair blending, but I know you can see some dark spots in there as well. And that's where we're gonna have to take our one guard and manipulate those spots out. So here we have the one guard open. And for the majority of this, I'm going to be using the corner of the blade. What will happen if you use the entire blade, you're probably going to end up raising your fade more than you want to. And that's not what you want to do. You really just want to get rid of those dark spots. And the way you do that is, like I said, you use the corner of your blade, 
but you want to start with the lever open and if that's not taking it out then you want to slowly close the lever never start off by cutting more hair because if you start out by t by cutting too much hair off you can't put it back on the head once it comes off so less is more when it, when it comes to fading Now, some of you may think this haircut is done, but you see that bolt right there on the Parada Ridge? Right here, I'm taking the number three guard with the lever fully open, and we're just blending into the top. The top is basically at a number four, so that three and a half will blend right into the top. And then here, I just close the lever just, just to go up under that three. And just to get it a little bit more smooth, I just went up under the three guard with the two with the two guard and the lever is fully open. Close, excuse me, it's closed, it's closed. You just want a full transition from the bottom of the fade to the top. Now here's where we get into the tricky part for a lot of people. Since this area is usually the most dense, you have a lot more surface area, but the hair is a little bit more stubborn in this area. So you're still going to walk through the same steps, the same system that we use on the left side. We're going to use it on the back and on the right sides. But you just have to do a little bit more manipulating with the clipper in certain areas. So I'm just going to let you watch me walk through these steps, but I'll comment whenever I feel like it's necessary. Now this area right up, right up in here is the stubborn part. So I'm taking the two guard with the lever fully open. And then I just went with the grain right here just to smooth the hair down. That way it will all blend together. And right here I have on the one and a half guard going up under that number two guard. So you'll see me turning the clipper left and right, just trying to get certain dark spots out. So that, that's what I'm doing to keep from raising my fade because I have to go up a little higher with the guard, but I don't want to raise the fade. So you see me using the corner and tilting it to the left and to the right. I'm just trying to pick certain spots. And if you ever feel like you're stuck, like I said, just start with a higher guard and whatever area you're trying to blend out. If that if that guard that you're currently using isn't blending out the area, then just go to a lower guard. So always start out with a high guard. And if that's not cutting it, then go to a lower guard. Now on this right side, I just I sped it up on purpose. I just want you guys to see how if you follow the system, you will literally see the blend it will literally blend right before your eyes. So I'm just gonna sit back and just let you guys watch this.
And another side note, be sure to follow the Barber Style Directory on Instagram and Facebook. That's at Barber Style Directory. And you can also check out our website where we have a full database of haircuts just like the one I'm doing right now. We also have blogs and other content as well. And also, if you want to see more of my personal haircuts, you can follow me on Instagram at Thomas Cut It. That's T H O M A S C U T I T at Thomas Cut It. But back to the video. Now we're going to proceed on with the lineup. We want to find that nice balance between natural and sharp. Now, of course, you're going to have to take off some hair, but you don't want to exaggerate it too much to the point where once it grows back, it will look terrible. Now with this C cup, like I said, you don't want to over exaggerate it. Now I know some of you may look at this and say, oh, you could have you could have made it a little bit more curved, but once it grew back, it would not have looked nice. So that's why I kept his natural, I kept his natural arch. His front hairline is a little tricky. So I had to taper it down just a little bit because it his hair curls up at the top. So I just tapered it down just to where the hair will lay straight. And I'm not going to go digging into his hairline. I'm just going to take off as least hair as possible and still get a straight edge. In the corners, you don't want to you don't want to dig too far into the corners. Like I said, you have to take some hair off, but you just want to keep it natural. Let me know how this cut turned out to you guys in the comments below. I think this haircut turned out pretty well. If you were new to this channel and you got something valuable out of this video, I ask that you subscribe as well as hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.